Hey, what's up folks, Fonorina here and the Android M developer preview is out. We've already flashed it to our Nexus 6 and we have some new exciting features to show you. But first, let's start with the new Google Photos application. You can actually download it to your device that is not running Android M right now. You can click on the description to this video and get the download link from there. So let's get started. We've got, we've got the new Google Photos application. It's got a lot of new exciting features. First, let us see what we have in this hamburger menu. We have signed in with our Google account right here and have three different panels that you can swipe between. One is the assistant with your notifications for this app. You have the photos view, which is your main view and you have your albums. Now the photos view is particularly neat because you, can, you have various ways to view your images. You can uh, select between four different views from over here or you can just simply pinch uh, to zoom in and out and we're particularly fond of this new way to view images. It's called the comfortable view. It's a full width, uh, very visually impressive view of your images, but you can also zoom out to see your images like this and quickly go back in time or back to the present moment, see the, uh, them in a nice timeline view. So what we're gonna do here is open one particular image and see uh, what editing options do we have first uh, and of course, you have some basic improvements that you can do to this image. You can select to auto improve it. You can mm, select the light settings, the color. You can make it pop, add a vignette effect to the image, make it look uh, in a retro style. You have various filters. Of course, for you Instagram fans out there, if you wanna share it in a little bit more, more of a fancier way, you can rotate, crop the image, all the standard stuff that you've seen in other applications. You can uh, let's discard those changes. You can also view information from the exit file or whatever you have there, you can delete the image. Now the first uh, particularly impressive new feature is the way you select images in the new Google Photos application. Now you know how selection happens in Android. You just long hold, tap, tap, tap. That's the usual way. Now in the new Google Photos application, you get a new way to select images, which is even more efficient long hold and long hold and swipe in a mouse like gesture as if you are using a mouse on uh, be it windows or mac the same way you can quickly select select a variety of images here now what's particularly interesting is that you can easily share those images to anyone with a public link so just click on the share button get link the link is now copied to the clipboard so we go into the messaging app and let's text Emily. We've already texted her once, so let's delete this previous link. And just for demonstration purposes, we paste the new link, send it, and off it goes. Emily will see uh, all these new images. She can download them, and if she signs in with her Google account, she can actually add them to her own Google Photos app and see them in the cloud anytime, anywhere, which is particularly neat. Now, let us show you the secret sauce of the new Google Photos app and that is the improved search functionality which is seriously impressive. As, uh, let's just try and type in lion. We know we have a picture of a lion, but where is it? We can't find it. Boom, it's right here. Uh, just type in lion, try, let's try a wolf. Do we have a picture of a wolf? Yes, it turns out we do. Do we have a picture of a cat? Now, I don't even know the answer to that question. Well, it turns out we have one and even the, the tiger counts as a cat. So that's a, it's an interesting coincidence. Let's see if we have pictures of various other animals. And boom, what do you know? Have all the pictures, even that of a jellyfish is counted as a picture of an animal. You can see the search is very, very accurate. Only animals. You can try various things. It's pure, look, works like pure magic. Building. Now we're just playing around with it, but it's really a lot of fun, a nice way to search through your images and uh, props to Google for making this so easy and so nice. So there you go. There you have it. A quick hands-on look at the new Google Photos application. The download link is right in the description to this video. Check it out. You can install it on your device. And as always, thanks for watching.